G'day guys, today I'll be dropping the old man on this car. For those who are new here, I'm Virkra and this is my 2004 ODA8L with a 4.2 BFM engine. Uh, he has 555,000 kilometers and so far the R is documented D3 which is the A8 from 2004 and 2010. And I've recently done a timing belt number 3 on this car and also the cam tensioner. Nothing to do with the timing change as this engine is more like a big 1.8 uh, turbo engine and only the edge tension in between uh, the uh, two camshafts on hydro banks. Now I'm dropping the pan to recover the pad material that came off those tensioners and we'll see what's uh, what's really in there. So hope you enjoy. Look at all those little flakes and little pieces of everything. We know that these uh, these brown, dark brown pieces of plastic are the, the tensioner, so that's uh, that's good. 
This is what we came for. This is what we came to recover. So, here they are. Those little flakes, they look alarming. They look like bearing materials, you know? Remain bearing stuff. But more on that later. And this grey goo here, that's fine. That's uh, simply the tensioner being eaten up by the very, very durable chain. The chain just ate away and uh, left all that fall to the pan. So, not too worried about that. So. And here we got a bit of sludge. Uh, it's in a corner, so that's uh, that's pretty typical. I mean, it's a high, uh, high uh, mileage engine, and all that. It's just a matter of just cleaning that up and uh, keeping up on the oil changes, and it'll be fine. So the flakes are the oddballs here, but if they were burning material, this engine would not run this way. So let me show you where these things come from. So I would not suspect that at once, and if someone told me that, um, I'd have a problem believing it as well. But uh, inside the, the uh, valve cover, there was all this kind of a residue. It looks like a pint flakes off, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if, it, if it's pint or if it's the uh, minerals and the oil that just caked up on the inside, and they've been just falling off and uh, ending up in a pan. But you could definitely, uh, definitely uh, convince someone his engine is shot and saying that these are bearing uh, pieces of the main bearings, but yeah, they're just not. So we're just gonna clean everything up, put back everything together, and uh, we'll put in the best oil I can find in there, and that's it.
and again there's another drain here between the alternator and the motor mount and that's for the uh, auto filter housing so don't forget that one too That's where the little washer goes when you get your oil filter, there's a tiny washer, that's where it goes.